In this video, I want to show you how you create individual forms with our CMS extension. You can download the extension in our Shopware store, assuming you own a professional edition. After you have downloaded the extension, go into My Extensions, click Install App, and after a few seconds, you can activate it. After that, we can now switch to our shopping experiences. There we can choose one of the already existing layouts or we can create a new one. In our case, we will create a new one. We will choose the shop page and the full width. We'll call it form builder, create layout. And then we get our block settings here. Click on the plus to select a new block and select in the block category form. Here you got the opportunity to choose between normal forms or a custom form. In our case, obviously, we will choose the custom form. Here you can select an already existing template if you have. If you haven't, you can just click on create. Now we get to the form settings. We start by giving this form a name. This is only visible for us. With the headline, this is the headline which is displayed for the customer in the storefront. Here you can enter the confirmation text, which is displayed for the customer when he has successfully filled in this form. We can enter a receiver address and we can select our email template here. And if you want to, you can save the template. In the fields tab, you can specify which fields can or must be filled in by the user. To do this, you can create groups which contain one or more fields. On the left side, fields and groups are divided. So you can add fields and you can separately add groups. On the right hand side, you can define the field name, um, the field title, you can select a type and in this case you can select between a text field, an email field where, for example, um, an email address is required, a number field, a checkbox field, a select field or a text area. For a name, the text type would be the best idea. Each type has got its own individual additional options. For example, the text type has got the placeholder field where you can add a placeholder text. Let's add another field. I'll just call it options and I will choose the selection field or selection type because the selection type has got its own specialty. The selection type offers the user a predefined selection to choose from. Using content entity lets you select from which shop entity the user can make a selection in the second step. Using content custom lets you enter values from which the user can then choose in the second step. Uh, in this field, you can type in the values um, and then press enter. If I am satisfied with my form settings, I can just press on done. After that, I only have to assign a layout. In our case, I'll just choose home. 
apply and save. And this is how everything looks in the storefront. Up here, I've got my text type field with the name and my selection field or selection type field with my two options.